We're keeping a very close eye on all of that flooding in eastern Oregon. The Umatilla River is starting to recede, but its quick rise forced the evacuation of hundreds of homes. This is a look at some drone video taken by the city of Pendleton. There's been a lot of damage to roads there that are buckled or just gone altogether. Helicopters have been flying over the area, surveying the damage and trying to get to anyone who needs to be rescued. The sheriff's office tells us 21 people were airlifted out today. Yesterday, the Oregon Army National Guard rescued 26 people, flying them out from their homes. Emergency managers say anyone who lives in this spot you're seeing right here, the community of Gibbon near Bingham Road, may need to assess resources because people here might have to shelter in place for a few weeks or be airlifted out. If you need to be evacuated, please call 911. Emergency crews say they will be out rescuing people with helicopters as long as they can today and as long as the weather holds up. The same warning goes for anyone in the Mill Creek area. We've got team coverage tonight of these devastating floods. Meteorologist Ann Campolongo is monitoring our forecast and shows us what could be in store for this area over the next few days. But let's begin with Fox 12 Zach Anders. He's live in Pendleton tonight with a look at all of that damage. Zach. Camilla, it's a tough night for a lot Folks are starting to move back into the area now that water has receded a bit, leaving behind an incredible, incredible amount of mud and debris. Today has been about cleanup, and we toured a couple of the damaged homes this afternoon and found them completely swamped. Saturday and this weekend's damage comes into focus. We're going to try to salvage the house if we can. The Umatilla River still roars Saturday, but it's nowhere close to where it was Friday afternoon when heavy rains created inescapable situations for some. It definitely escalated quickly. Rescue helicopters continued to scan the area today, searching for anyone left behind. Friday at its peak, hundreds of structures submerged, over two dozen evacuated from their homes, several by helicopter. And just as many people were displaced overnight, Red Cross shelters became home for those who lost everything. It's hard. I mean, to, these people, all their cars are gone. Some of them said they're floated away. Air 12 captured the scale of the damage. A flooded Interstate 84 remains closed in both directions, and it could stay that way for several days due to the damage sustained in the flood. Back here on the ground, the scale somehow greater as the damage gets personal. Many returning to their homes to find everything ruined. Everything got moved around. It even tipped that refrigerator over there. Wow. And he said he just bought it a month ago. And throughout it all, the river showed it was in charge, sparing some and clobbering others. Heath Schiller was one of the lucky ones, keeping a watchful eye all night, water surrounding his only way out, too. Remarkably, the water began to recede just in time. This was definitely a big one for, the, for everybody. And back out here tonight, I want to show you, it wasn't just the amount of water, it was the force of the water. Take a look at this fence that was knocked over by the strength of the current. And then on the other side of the street here, this is a chain link fence. It's hard to tell, but it's covered with debris and sadly household items too. It was knocked over by the force of it. I just spoke with one of the residents that lives in this mobile home estate park. This line right here tangled up one of the residents as they were trying to evacuate. They were caught in it and pinned up against this fence. So still a plenty dangerous situation too as people were trying, rushing, trying to get out of here late yesterday afternoon. Reporting in Pendleton tonight, Zach Anders, Fox 12 Oregon.